Hi there, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY aux cord from scratch. So I'm Darren, and I'm your host, and you're watching Darren DIY. And now, without any further ado, grab a drink or something to eat, and I hope you will enjoy. So for this video, we are going to need two male auto jacks, some speaker wire, a soldering iron and some solder, and optional, a wire stripper, a soldering helping hand, and a multimeter. So first, grab the speaker wire and strip around 5 cm of the outer insulation. Then, remove the audio jacks cover and insert them into the speaker wire like this. After you have inserted them, separate the ground wire from the left and right wires. And then, twist the ground wires together. Now, you are going to need to cut the wires to an approximate length of 3 cm. And then, strip half a cm from the left and right wires. Now, we are going to need to solder the jack to the wire, but before that we are going to need to identify the pinout of the male audio jack. So the tip is the left or blue wire, which is the shortest pin on the jack. The middle section or the ring is the right or red wire, which is the middle sized pin on the jack. And the sleeve is the ground wire, or the longest pin on the jack. So now that you know the pinout of the jack, we can go ahead and solder the wire to the jack. So first twist the copper strands of the wires so that they are uniform, so that there are no copper strands that could cause a short. After this, insert the left or blue wire, in my case yellow wire, into the shortest pin on the jack, with making sure that the insulation is facing the other pin and the exposed wire facing outwards. This is so that we avoid shorts. After this, I repeated the same procedure with the right wire. Now, for the ground wire, I went ahead and cut it as short as possible. Then, soldered it to the ground pin. After this, I repeated everything with the other audio jack. And when I was done, before I closed the jacks, I used a multimeter to check if there were any shorts. Then, after I had checked that there weren't any shorts, I screwed on the plastic cover of the jacks. And just like that, our DIY aux cord is complete. And since the wire was a bit bigger than the audio jack cover hole, it fits really snugly and looks really professionally made. So that's the end of this video, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. So if you did, make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any new videos like this one. And if you have anything to share with me, just tell me down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching, stay safe and have fun, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.